Hi Eagles, I'm so happy to be with you again today. Um, last time we were together, I read Scaredy Squirrel, and today I'm going to read another book in the Scaredy Squirrel series called Scaredy Squirrel Makes a Friend by Melanie Watt. And both of these books are AR books, so you can take quizzes on them. Scaredy Squirrel Makes a Friend, and there is a warning label. It says, Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone brush their teeth with germ-fighting toothpaste before reading this book. Scary Squirrel doesn't have a friend. He'd rather be alone than risk encountering someone dangerous. A squirrel could get bitten. A few individuals Scary Squirrel is afraid to be bitten by. Beavers, walruses, bunnies, piranhas, and Godzilla. So Scary Squirrel finds interesting ways to pass the time all by himself. He reads, he whistles, he knits, he chats, he crafts, he yawns, he counts, until one day he spots a someone perfectly safe, a goldfish. And a goldfish is the perfect friend according to Scaredy Squirrel. Bubbly personality, quiet, squeaky clean, no teeth, and germ free. Doesn't do much, but it is 100% safe. A few items Scaredy Squirrel needs to make the perfect friend. A lemon, a name tag, mittens, comb, mirror, air freshener, toothbrush, and chew toy. How to make the perfect first impression. Prepare freshly squeezed lemonade. Make sure name tag is visible. Tame bad hair. Brush teeth thoroughly and practice smile. Check for nutty breath. Check and food caught between teeth. Wear mittens to hide sweaty paws. Use pine scent to smell delightful. And follow the perfect plan. And here is the perfect plan. I am here. Goldfish is here. Step one, toss down chew toy. Step two, use mirror to check hair and teeth. Step three, run straight to the fountain. Step four, point to name tag and smile. Step five, offer lemonade. And step six, make the perfect friend. Don't talk to suspicious bunnies. Stay away from piranha infested ponds. Beware of walruses. They're fast on their flippers. Avoid beavers, they could snap at any moment, and watch out for Godzilla for obvious reasons. But let's just say, for example, that Scary Squirrel did come face to face with a potential biter. He knows exactly what not to do. Do not show fear, do not, sh do not show your fingers, do not make eye contact, do not make any loud noises, and if all else fails, play dead. And hand over the test, Scaredy's risk test. Who are you? How many teeth do you have? What's your hobby? Biting other. What do you see here? A friend or something to bite? With every detail under control, Scaredy Squirrel puts the plan into action. First, he tosses the chew toy. Then he heads down the tree. Everything is perfect until he hears a strange sound coming from behind. Squeak! And he realizes... Look in the mirror, I wonder what it's going to be. <gasps> it's a dog! This was not part of the plan. Scaredy looks terrified. The dog chases Scaredy around the bush and around the fountain and around in circles until Scaredy Squirrel plays dead. 30 minutes later, one hour later, two hours later, after all this time, Scaredy Squirrel realizes that the dog doesn't want to bite him. He just wants a friend. Scaredy Squirrel points to his name tag and smiles. Hello, my name is Scaredy Squirrel. Then he starts chasing his new friend, Buddy. They play fetch, they play hide and seek, and they play dead. Buddy seems like a fun friend. Scaredy Squirrel forgets all about the goldfish, not to mention the walruses, bunnies, beavers, piranhas, and Godzilla. Time flies when you're having fun. All this excitement inspires Scaredy Squirrel to make a few minor changes to his idea of a friend. My almost perfect friend, according to Scaredy Squirrel. Muddy paws, loud bark, drool, wet doggy smell, tooth, and germs. 83% safe, but lots of fun. P.S. As for the wet doggy smell, it's been taken care of, and he put the pine scent around Buddy's collar, and they look like they're having fun together. 
So in this story, Scaredy Squirrel was afraid to leave his tree to make a new friend, and he was going to try to make friends with the goldfish who seemed safe, but he ended up making friends with Buddy, who was lots of fun. So I hope you enjoy reading this Scaredy Squirrel series, and next time I see you, I will have another Scaredy Squirrel book to read to you. And it was great to um, have this time with you, and I hope you guys are enjoying your day, and I'm excited to see you next time. Bye!